The new glue, glue, glue. This is Kayem, Holy Throne of the Most High God on Earth Mission. We present Holy Tomole Adaye End Time World Salvation Gospel. Hear the messenger and the truth bringer of our time. He is King Olutomole Agbaye. He is the Son of Man, who Jesus Christ, the Son of God, has promised in the scriptures, saying, I will pray the Father, and he will send you another comforter, who will abide with you for a long, long time. John 14, 16. Sit back and hear him. Comforter sent by Lord Jesus Christ unto my generation to proclaim the gospel of the descended throne of kingdom of Father of Jesus now upon the earth. Only to my life by any way, and did Jesus Christ who has not seen a ye, see no ye, Latin Marke de in Rere Job by Bala. It's a wonderful welcome unto you, my viewers at home. It's very wonderful welcome to you. I want to welcome this another round of the gospel of end time world salvation. Gospel. Of the end time world salvation. I'm taking my text from the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. I'm taking my from the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall then come. This is the only divine solution. To all problems facing humanity. He and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall then come. I want I'm emphasizing to you to know the end time salvation gospel. And tell which more. God Christ has you know ordained to be preached. Now, by the preaching of the gospel of throne of kingdom of the Father on earth in all the world, it simply means the propagation or proclamation. Of the divine rule of God on earth now, or God's reign on earth. When you are preaching the gospel of the kingdom of heaven on earth, we are at the same time preaching or proclaim to you that the reign of God has commenced. Because 
If God says, I'm going to reign, God shall reign over the whole world. Now, the dynamic move of God is to set up his throne, is to set up his kingdom on earth, however, uh, for he, the proper, uh, now, administration of his rule and reign. Yes. You see, most people, you know, seem not to know what is implied by kingdom of God. By kingdom of God, we mean rule of God. The divine rule of God on earth. Hmm. That is the divine rule of God on earth. And we are not only talking about kingdom. Now, today, everybody is talking about kingdom, 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 kingdom. But we are talking about the throne of the kingdom of heaven on earth. Throne, because there cannot be a realistic kingdom without a realistic throne. Amen. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Did you hear me? Yes, Lord. Today people are talking kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. No. The Bible says, Psalm 103, verse 19, it says, God has prepared his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules for both kingdom and, and glory. I mean, and the train go together. The throne of God and the kingdom. So this is the special thing about my message. We are talking about the throne of kingdom of the Father of Jesus now on earth is talking about the commencement of the reign of God on earth over the reign of Satan the devil. Amen. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, to my shape, we the Lord of 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 Ah, God reign in somebody there. Reign it. This reign of God on earth, which has commenced now, is intended and designed to save all the ends of the earth from the demonic rule and satanic activities or domination. There's nothing that can save man and the world. From the grip of the devil. All right. Except the throne of God and his kingdom. So you must understand what we are talking about. Now. Yes. 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 He came to save the world from sin. And before he ascended, he predicted about what will characterize life at this end time. Saying, Matthew 24, verse 12, I read from here. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's the prediction of Christ Jesus. Uh, now, by this we are able to understand that there will be resurgence of satanic activities and demonic influences in the world at the same time. So when you say iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wash cold. That is, the, there will be lawlessness. Lawlessness will increase in the world. Uh, there will be increase uh, in transgression, in uh, you know, uh, rebellion against God, disobeying God with impunity. Now, I want you to see what the devil has made of this world. I want you to see what Satan, the prince of this world, has made of the youths. All young men and women. What Satan, the devil, has made of them. I want you to see what the devil has turned all these youths in our world to become. Heartless breakers of laws of God and all breakers of our social 
uh, norms, they are breakers. Not to certain norms, they are breakers of them. Very reckless. That's the work of Satan in the devil of, in the life of youths in the world in particular. See what the youths have all become now in the world. It's very, very terrible. Satan has deceived them to become carriers of cutlasses and guns and bullets and charms about. All for the purpose of shedding human blood. Satan is Shedding the blood of innocent and harmless persons with impunity. See able body, young men hiding in bush and under rivers of water watching to kidnap and to murder. Raping. Both junior and elderly alike. See all this damnable barbarism. All this evil in the world of our youths. Now, we are talking about the activity of Satan in the world and in the life of our youths. Now, there's nothing that anyone can do than to preach the gospel of salvation of God upon, upon the earth. The establishment and the descent of the throne of God which rules over all things. Because only the throne can save us in this present age. Because the purpose of this enormous power of evil in the world. Who? 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 No one. Is it government? Is it religion? Nobody. No, we, we thank the Lord God because he has descended his throne and kingdom from heaven upon the earth to destroy all this work of the devil. Amen. Now, I want to talk about what God has written down concerning this devil that is destroying our world and destroying our use. Turn your Bible to Revelation chapter 20 verse 10. I will read from here. I want you to see also the judgment that has been determined upon Satan's devil by God himself. Revelation 20 verse 10 says, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophets are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Our God reigneth. 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 This is yeah, where yeah. you find the righteousness of God. Amen. Never mind what Satan may be doing all around. God has uh, answered. Mm. He has answered to it. Okay. He said the devil shall be cast into hellfire. Amen. That is the disastrous end of the devil. So I want to caution all you youths that have been misled by Satan the devil and by these false prophets. See the Bible says, and the devil that deceived them, that's this, you know, deception, satanic deception, that deceived them was cast into hellfire. So if you don't stop following the devil, 
You are going to end in hellfire. Where your king is ending. Now he said, where the beast and the false prophets are and shall be tormented. My youth, male and female, everywhere in the world, use this country. Listen to me. I'm the one sent to you. Stop following Satan the devil so that you don't end up in hellfire with him. Return to to your Lord, your God, who has made you in his image, that you may enjoy your life as yours and enjoy your heaven in the hereafter. <laughs> I'm calling upon all youths, male and female, wherever you are. Turn from the devil, prince of this world. I want you to denounce your allegiance with Satan, the devil. I want you to throw away all your chaps and your dangerous weapon and diabolical instruments. Throw them into the lag into lagoon. You don't need them. No. You don't need them. No. Hmm. They are all meant for children of perdition. You, I'm talking to you. Yes. I am Olutomole. Send to this my generation of ills. Why should we destroy the world which God has created? Say, so God will destroy those that destroy the earth. God is going to destroy himself. He will destroy those who destroy the earth. And those that destroy lives. Why should you be delighted in snuffing life from the, I mean, life from you know, the nurses of your fellow man? Why? 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 Who gives you that authority or the power to keep to mother innocence. Why? Who give you? Is this the devil? You have seen the disastrous end of the devil. I want you to fear God. Fear God and turn from wickedness. Fear God. fear God and turn from these abominations. My youths all over the world, white and black. Uh -huh. I want you to turn today with violent determination into the descended throne of the kingdom of Father on earth. This is what God has designed for you. I want you to destroy your course membership. Come out from courtism. Come out today. What business have you in the corridor of the prince of this world, prince of the world of darkness? The kingdom and the throne of light has now descended. Come to the light. What joy do you have? What joy do you have in shedding, in shedding blood? What, this is too bad. This is not prayer. No one is going to pray he can show to right bring right. an end to all this, uh, uh, you know, inhumanity, a to drop. man business. A all this act of humanity, senseless killing, by use. Go to our campuses at tertiary institutions and colleges. See the youth there, what they have turned the world to be. Now, these are uh, youths 
you know, they are from certain homes. You parents now, God has the controversy with you parents. He has a controversy because he has given you the duty to train your children in the fear of God. So they will not become problems in society. So I want you to burn your, your membership cards of course. I mean, get out from court. Come out from there now. Come right into the kingdom of God now. God is there waiting for you. All right, now to change your life. It is the throne of God that God has established on earth to change lives. Yes, see, to bring about a revolutionary change of heart. Come to the kingdom now. Break, break allegiance to certain. Break. Separate yourself now. And the power of heaven shall set you free. Amen. Return to the source of your spiritual origin, which is the kingdom of God on earth. Oh, come, all ye beloved, my father. And here is the kingdom prepared for you from the creation of the world. You see, there is nothing God has created for man. Christ says. From the foundation of the world, God has created this kingdom. You study your Bible in Matthew 25, verse 34. Say, so Come to me, you blessed of my father, and inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Who is listening to me now? The established throne is your home. Yes. Amen. Hell is not a home. Prison cell is not a home. Police cell is not a home. Now, I will bless the Lord because God is doing something very powerfully in the life of Jews in all the world, not only in a nation. Amen. See them burning houses. Mm. See them destroying lives. See them in insurgency. Look at all terrorism everywhere. These are the youths in the, in the nation. You see? Now, but the power of the kingdom has come. Amen. To break in pieces. And defeat evil in human society. For your sake, the throne and kingdom of Father on earth is established. For your sake, you use. I saw it there at the job of Jesus Christ. So, like, therefore, follow me. I am the another comfort I sent. Oh, I'm sent to call you out now. Oh, yes. I'm calling vigorously. Come out now. Come out from perdition. And into salvation. Huh. I don't want you to desire human blood. But desire in your heart today. Life. Desire life and salvation towards all men and happier you shall be. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, I want to say something. Who's listening? See, I want you to know one thing. See, God is God of the old earth. God is God of the old earth. Say that. God is God of the old earth. So, God has not forsaken the world. Maybe the rules are thinking that God has forsaken the world. But I'm now preaching to you that God is still in perfect control of the world. God is concerned about this material world. Because God himself has given the world to, unto man. According to a record in the book of Psalm, chapter 115, verse 16, God says, Heaven and heavens are mine. The earth I have given unto man. We will read that PDA, uh, chapter 115, 
Verse 16. God himself has given the to much. So God is still very passionate about saving the world. Satan should not be allowed to destroy our world. That's why God is bringing judgment upon Satan today. We see now is judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast away. Amen. I don't want you to be cast away from with the devil. Amen. That he himself had cast Satan away from heaven onto a planet earth to trouble the earth. God realizes that. And that is why God is very passionate about helping man to overcome the devil. You see, what I'm saying, Ola ti omo ipe, ono onle satan in kron na jula rosi aye, lat ma to, da amole aye la mo, onye ikbe ni fun aye, says war to the world, and unto the sea, because Satan the devil is cast away unto the earth. So God realizes that, and that is why God is doing everything in his power to help man. So this is why I've been sent to help you this My own generation, Amen. you shall not perish with the world. Amen. Hallelujah. I say, if we not perish with the world, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say, mercy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is always concerned about the world. Hmm. He has not thrown the world away. He has not cast the world away. That's why He says He will destroy and cast the Satan from the world. The world was given to man. Man is the rightful owner of this world. Say that. Man is the rightful owner of, of this world. Because everybody is turning up, uh, back to Satan, the devil, worshiping Satan, thinking that Satan is the owner of, of the world. I'm preaching to you. I'm preaching to you for you to know you, you are the rightful owner of this earth. Don't allow Satan to destroy your, your life. Now, God has said it before. That is showing his concern for the world. The Bible says, For God so loved the world. Hallelujah. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but shall have eternal life. That's John 3 16. You see, you can see that God still loves the world upon the earth. That whosoever believeth and come may not perish but shall escape the world of Lucifer and eternal judgment in hell. Take up your coat, Balakay. Fee Balago Bahan, your fair. We know long Farai to beg, get to our soil, take your barre calis with a ye. Kill what to back Baboloni, quite by shake with Balaye. To walk on a new bala. Eat Balasino, I yon. Sit to enjoy the succor, the solace, and the comfort of God forever. Amen. Amen. One thousand years heavenly reign of the Lamb anniversary comes up again. One thousand years heavenly reign of the Lamb? What is it all about? It is the celebration of the 1,000 years reign of Christ with all the saints of the first resurrection and also to celebrate the time of giving to all the saints their dear reward. Mm. Oh yes! The theme of this year's anniversary is New Glory. The chief celebrant and message bearer of the day is King Olu Tomole Agbaye, the another comforter saint. Wow! This is going to be great! Please tell me when and where the anniversary is coming up. It comes up from 15th to 17th December this year. Penny, Mount of the Lord, City of Glory, Kilometer 25, Ondo, Akure Road, Omiluri Junction, Ondo State, Nigeria. Join us as we celebrate the 1,000 years heavenly reign of the Lamb. Be there and be blessed. These are some of the addresses of our centers. We want you to visit any of these centers close to you. God bless you as you do. Let me kill
Ronu piwada Shanu fumi majeki shelbe Mole bami kuronu ebi eshe Eru eshe bami Kikon kikon iwo lole 